the old Plano plastic four gun pistol case. These things have been around for a long time. They're pretty inexpensive and uh, but you know they're pretty sturdy. I mean they keep your guns fairly secure. They're locked. They have these little latches. Once you open it up, it has the uh, eggshell kind of foam. Not really anything majorly sturdy. Of course that's in the top and the bottom. And then when you raise up the first layer, there's a second layer that's all flat in the bottom. And I've had pistols in here. In fact, I usually put about eight handguns in here just to keep it really compact. But I've been really wanting to get a little bit more customized with my uh, certain firearm systems. The bottom piece of foam actually has cutouts. And it's really funny because I never even noticed it. I just left it in there. And I was really looking for some foam to put in here to replace this. But then once I saw that, I decided to go ahead and do a little project and see how it turns out. Then I'll take my foam in the top and I'm just going to turn it around because I just want it to have a flat, smooth surface. Now you can see that the way these are cut, they're just little strands that are holding them together and on all four sides. So you cut out the sections that you want to and you can form fit it. Now there's about an inch of space all the way around. Now before you start cutting, you want to go ahead and place your items in place. And I start with the handgun because that's the main part. Of course this gun is unloaded. It is a Glock 20 10 millimeter, and it has the Glock light on it. I chose the Glock light not for its brightness because it's just really not that bright. But it's really compact in here and uh, it is very, it's adequate for self-defense. I'm going to place it at the very top corner. Next I want to put my magazines and I'm going to try to fit four Glock magazines. I may only be able to get three, but I find my edge, just get a rough estimate. I'd really like to get a layer in between each magazine if possible. Next is a holster and I'm going to put this G-Code uh, Cryptek finish holster. It has the RTI wheel and this goes to my Glock 20 and so I'm going to go ahead and try to line it up. This is just to kind of get a feel for where things go. Next I'm going to put my SOG flashback. And then I'm going to take a Leatherman Sidekick and put it in here. And then I'm going to have an extra battery for my light. I may put it here, I may put it here, it just depends. But again, before I start cutting anything, I'm going to take, cut my pistol out first, I'm going to cut my mags out, holster, and I'm going to go really from largest area to smallest. Now that we've got it laid out, we're going to go ahead and start cutting. Now again, I'm going to use that top edge. That's the most important part. And I'm going to see the closest one to cut. I'm going to mark it. Razor would probably be fine, but I'm going to go ahead and use my flashback. Cuts really easy. You want to go ahead and cut all the way through the foam. Be careful not to cut your hand. <laughs> I find that cutting down is a lot easier. Okay, we've got our piece cut out. Make sure that you turn over your eggshell in the bottom. This will give you more of a solid platform. in. I think it's going to be a good fit. There's still about an inch right above here to keep it off the sides. Now we're going to start with the outside edge and that's the magazine that I want to cut out first. I think really it'll fit in two of these little blocks. So really all I need to do is to mark the last block that it's going to fit in. We're going to try it right here. This is not something you're going to be able to use for hard use. If this is for a duty weapon or something that you're, you just want to keep organized really. Pull it right out. Yeah, that's going to fit just right. You know, after counting them up, I think I'm just going to go with three magazines instead of the four. 
because, and I'm going to leave two blocks in between. I could do it, but I really think this is going to tear really easily if I don't. We'll put our three mags in. And this is going to hold up really nice. I like that. Okay, we have the holster, and I'm going to go ahead and get that bottom edge. We're going to take this corner out. Now, I went ahead and made it to where I could set the RTI wheel in. And one thing about the RTI wheel, we're going to set the paddle in first. Once the RTI wheel, or whatever you're using, you know, there's different type holsters to use. But for this, I'm going to cut this out and then set it down in. Be careful not to slide that knife into your fingers behind the foam. That fits down in there very well. Okay, let's see how that closes. Yeah, we're gonna get a good solid close. Be careful with points where it comes close together because that can tear and again, I think being in the case and leaving it in the case, you'll be fine. If you're going to start pulling this in and out, messing with it, I think you're going to have some problems. I think what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and set up both of these at the same time. So I think we're going to go with just one. I'm going to see if I can get one column and slide this down, and then I can put my knife in a solid position. I would suggest always going with the outside edge first. That way you'll know how much area you have beyond. If we need to go with two, we can always change it. Oh yeah, that fits perfectly. And the clip on this side makes it easy to grab. This is going to give us plenty to do three here so we can get three pieces cut out and it's going to set very nice. I'm going to go ahead and try this edge right here even though it's a little tight. Now if you'll notice I've already snapped this and I'm probably going to just put a little bit of tape on the back. But again, I really feel like once this is in place it's going to be fine. If I don't like this later I'm going to, I can change it out. Yeah, the knife actually is going to drop down in there. I probably should have done it this way. So if I had to do that again, I think I would have gone ahead and put it in like this. It's been easy to pull out. This is going to drop it down. Here I'm just cutting this foam, the piece that I took out for the knife, and I'm going to cut it in half. I just take long strokes. I'm going to slide it down in there. That gives me a little bit of a raised area. That's perfect. That's going to fit very nice. Now because I have a little extra room, I'm going to put one of these S10 batons by Olight. This is one of my favorite EDC lights. In fact, I carry this all the time. But I have a titanium version, and this is really just incredible. It's got a lot of light to it. Actually, a lot more light than that little Glock light. So... Just excellent. Of course, you can get these at Going Gear. Great little deal. And with the flashlight, it only took two sections. Just went ahead and cut it out. No big deal. Went ahead and cut out one apiece for these CR123s to make it really easy and uh, just keep some snug. And one thing I didn't really think about was once I put my Glock light on there, it's not going to fit in my holster. But these are easily removed and still fits the purpose. Now on this section that was split, I put some Velcro, just cut out some really small strips. And this is going to keep this together. Um, you know, that's not the ultimate, but again, this is a poor man's custom gun case. And, you know, you do whatever. But, um, you know, if you do break it, I would suggest, though, really probably going just with two mags, giving yourself a lot more room and spreading this out. I think that that would hold up a lot better. One thing, too, I'm going to suggest is to do something with this. This is tending to fall out some, and I think it's because it has the, the eggshell crate. Uh, type material. Either glue like Elmer's glue or even Velcro along the strips and then in the center I think should hold that and then it'll be able to open and close. But one thing I noticed when I had the egg crate out this way 
that pieces tended to shift some and they didn't stay into place. Uh, with the flat surface, they tended to stay in the order in the place that you had them a little bit more snug. Of course, your setup may be totally different. You may have flashlights in here. You may have, you know, knives, your knives set up in here. You can do anything, uh, you know, that'll fit into this area. And so, you know, the sky's the limit, not necessarily gun related, but whatever suits you. In fact, I think I'm going to get another one of these and do another project for my knives or my flashlights. Overall, I'm very pleased with this setup. You know, again, about $25. You can buy an ice case like this and do it yourself. No, it's not a Pelican. No, these pieces aren't uh, molded and the foam's not that heavy, dense foam, which is excellent. But you do get a good case for a reasonable price. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. some noise is this one right here. <laughs>